Kidding here, Smokehouse Barbecue. It's been a rough summer. Everything I've done screwed up. Truck's been broke down off and on for almost two months. I think I about got a handle on it. Been so busy because of the heat, I hadn't been able to produce any of these cooking videos. So I'm making taco soup tonight. We just got off vacation in Kachara, Colorado for a week. And a buddy of mine brought a recipe up there called taco soup. So I'm going to make my version of it. I've got almost all the ingredients, but not quite exactly the same. It takes several different cans of beans to make this soup. And I don't have those several kinds. I've got what I got, but it should be just as good. I'll put the recipe down below of exactly how he made it. And this is Captain Kenny's version. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, let's see what we got here. We can use these two cans. It's a good time to clean out your cover too. Uh, what else we got? Chili beans. And we even got some kidney beans. Need to get rid of those too. They're probably fixing to go bad. Let's see what else we got in here. Everything else is kind of like soup and stuff. So, uh, I think that's about it. Ooh, I'd take those back to Deerleys. Those are out of my deer stand for last year. Okay, yeah, it looks like all the beans. So we're gonna break out the 16 quart stew pot made by Capilano. My favorite pot, holds four gallons. We're gonna fill that puppy up. This is what they consider a double batch. For ingredients, we have two large yellow onions, two bundles of cilantro, two packages of taco seasoning. You can use any kind you want to. Ranch dressing, you can use any kind you want to on that also. Uh, Hidden Valley has like five different kinds of ranch dressing, so take your pick. One large can of whole kernel corn, and we're gonna pour the juice off on it. Two cans of chili beans, two cans of black beans, two cans of cannonelli beans, which I'm not pronouncing that right, I'm sure. Give me a comment if you think I ain't. Ain't in the dictionary either. So we got two cans of ranch style beans, a lonely can of black eyed peas, two cans of rotel tomatoes, and a can of diced tomatoes. And the star, 2.22 pounds of hamburger. That's my favorite thing about it right there. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off by sauteing this meat down. It's kind of frozen still, but it will cook down. I learned this in Colorado, it's called the slap chop. What do y'all think? That's a pretty neat trick, huh? If you do it this way, your eyes won't tear up. It's called the slap chop, Colorado. So once the meat has sauteed, what we'll do is we'll move these onions into the sauteed meat, let these soften up a little bit, and then once that softens up, we'll assemble the soup. Okay, let's see how the meat's coming. Like I said, it was frozen. It's still a little frozen. Okay. We're gonna let it cook a little bit longer with the lid on it. It'll help us defrost it a little quicker. off let some of that moisture evaporate out of there see if that slap chop works on cilantro too I didn't rinse them. Smells good. 
Okay. Let me see if I've got this right. It starts off with a slap. <clears throat> there it is. It even works on cilantro too. That's pretty sweet. I'll make a video about that slap chop later. I don't think the record started. Okay. I just added the onions and we'll soften those up just a little bit with the meat. It's two large yellow onions. You can leave it open, put a lid on it, it'll help sweat them down a little quicker. About five minutes into sweating these down, they're gonna need about 10 more minutes at least. Sweating down for about 15 minutes. I think it's ready for us to assemble this soup. Okay. Ranch style beans. Two cans. Two cans of Rotel. Can of black eyed peas. These look like lima beans. Cannonelli beans. Two cans of chili beans. Two cans of black beans. One large can of corn. One large can of diced tomatoes. Two packages of taco seasoning. Two packages of ranch dressing. Up. And we're going to bring this up to a simmer and we'll probably add a little bit of chicken stock with it. But it'll liquid up a little bit more as it, as it cooks a little bit. Very colorful. You know, it's autumn. Temperature changing. Eaves are turning colors. Dog has to go to the bathroom. God dang it. Okay, you gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, back to where I was at. You hear that? The bird can smell me cooking. She's over there dinging her bowl. She wants some of it. She knows Dad's cooking's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna let that come up to a simmer. See, that's uh, almost two gallons of uh, soup. Here. My wife's gonna be taking that to work all week long. You can get on that. Okay, we're gonna let that warm up over medium heat and uh, once it comes up to a simmer then we're going to put some chicken stock in it. Wife says it needs to be a little bit more soupy so we're going to add a little chicken stock to it. It's a little more soupy now what do y'all think? Okay, she simmer and see the bubbles. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna let that simmer. Most people eat it right then. You know, the stuff's actually better the next day. But I'm gonna let it simmer for about 15, 20 more minutes. Okay, time to put the cilantro in. It's been cooking for about 30 minutes. It's two bundles of cilantro.
leftover tortilla chips. They say a little dollop will do you. I guess we need some cheese on there. Uh, Mexican taco soup. It doesn't really matter what kind of beans you have, just put lots of beans in it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'd love to hear from you. I'll have the recipe and the show more down below. This is Captain Kenny signing out with Smoke Out of Barbecue. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.